Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Max and as you can see by the name of the channel, this channel is going to be mainly about hunting Canadian currency. There's still a lot of old coinage out there to find and I'm really enjoying looking for it so I might as well share it with you guys. Uh, I mainly hunt Canadian nickels, dimes and if I can get them pennies as well. Um, with the occasional quarter hunt here and there even though I don't enjoy them too much. So if you're interested in Canadian currency and what is still out there, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, today we're going to kick it off with a penny hunt, which is actually pretty amazing since they're removed out of circulation since 2013. So pretty hard to come by and I'm really looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoy it and hope to see you guys in the future. All right, everyone, let's hunt some pennies today. Look at this great box here. We have a box of nickels, but it is full of pennies. And I just want to tell you a quick story about this. So I just casually asked at one of my banks when I picked up nickels if they have pennies and they were like, yeah, actually we got quite a lot. We have like 330 something rolls, so almost seven boxes. And I was over the moon happy to take it all. I was pretty sure they're gonna be hunted, but they don't look hunted, at least they're not copper hunted, which is usually a very good sign because the most people that hunt pennies keep the copper. So I'm looking forward to this hunt and hopefully we find something nice. Maybe some wheat sands, maybe some King George the Sixth, maybe even some King George the Fifth, or in my dreams, even an Indian hat, even though that's very, very unlikely. But you never know what you're gonna find in this rolls. So let's crack in and I will tune you guys back in if I find something interesting. Um, probably tune you in with like the first young hat or so. I'm definitely not showing every single American coin I find. But every King George, every foreign, every wheat cent, this is the kind of stuff I'm gonna tune you guys back in and let's see what we can find. Roll number one guys and we straight away have some finds. Uh, good start. Whole row looks like it's completely entirely copper which is a great thing and they also don't look very crusty or anything like this. They actually look nice. So just tune you in. This is nothing exciting but we have a 1963 young head here in a, certain, in a decent condition. So not too fancy but still happy to find it. And then we have a pretty beat up Centennial bird sand, which is something I always keep as well. So two finds in the first roll and I might as well hunt the roll with you guys to the end here. Uh, everything is copper so far. And here we have another young head. So we definitely have some old coinage here, but young heads are pretty common to find. So I'm not getting too excited about that. But it is definitely a good indicator and also that everything is copper here is great. So let's go on with the hunt and hope to find something nice. Alright guys, this is roll number 12 and this gives us the actual first real good find of the hunt and it actually is an ender which I didn't see because it was one of those rolls that are concealed on one side. But this is the first King George of the hunt and this one is a King George 1941. Very nice. First good find of the hunt and let's continue and find something else. Alright guys, this is roll number 19. It's a bit of a slow box, but this is a weird roll. It's like all American and I just saw this here guys. This is the first wheat sand of the hunt in pretty beat up condition. It's a 9052D. Let's see if we can find more. But first weedy in Canadian coinage, pretty awesome. Still the same roll guys, just a few coins down. Got another wheat sand here and let's review the date together. And this one is in 1944 Philadelphia. Right, <clears throat> this is roll number 20 guys and I just thought I'm gonna tune you guys in because I can see another wheat scent in here. And you see it guys? Pretty awesome. Wheat scent number 3 of the hunt. Let's look at the year together. It's in 1940. Come on focus. 1940, no mint mark, but still happy to have it. Still roll number 20, guys. This is a good one. I'm seeing another wheat sand peeking out just over here, if you guys can see it. And we also have a young head over here. So let's just hunt this run, hunt this roll live and see what we have. So we got a 64 young head here. Mm, pretty common, nothing special. 
Let's see if we find anything else. There's another 64 young head here, so it's just a roll of older coinage, not bad. And here's our wheat sand, and this one looks like to be in a bit better condition than the last two. I really like it, and it's a 1957. I was pretty sure it would be in the 50s if it's that nice. But let's finish this roll together, and there we go, guys. I can see the next one. It's a third wheat sand in this roll, and that's something that I've experienced quite often. If you find any, then you find usually a lot of them, and this one is a 1948 Denver. Pretty nice. Let's see if there's more to find in this roll. Oh, Jesus, guys. You see that? There's another one. And this one looks a bit more beat up. But it's always hard to tell how old they are. I had some really pretty ones that are old and some really bad ones that are not so old. This one is a 1950S. Yeah, I like to find an S mint mark. Find a lot of these usually. And I don't see anything else here. But you never know until you go to the end. People sometimes even get some weedies with some luster here. So you never know. But that's it for this roll, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we're going to continue the hunt. Okay guys, roll number 22 uh, and we have the next wheat sand here. This is going to be wheat sand number 7 of this hunt and we're just 22 rolls in so that's pretty amazing. Can't complain about that and this one is going to be a 55 Philadelphia. Uh, not the most rare coin but still nice to have. Okay guys, this is roll number 25 and I'm very excited now because this is by far the best find of the hunt in my opinion so far because I don't find this often. So I started looking through this roll and I saw this that looked like one of those batteries that you sometimes find in dime or nickel rolls, but it is actually looks like a blank planchet to me guys. I don't know if you can see it, this is really cool. Uh, never found one like of those before some reason it doesn't like it, the camera doesn't like it, I don't know why I put it there, but it's definitely a blank planchet and I'm pretty sure it is actually a US cent, like if you actually put the US cent next to it, it really really much looks like the same size, but if we put a newer Canadian cent next to it, let's make a little sandwich here just quickly, you can kind of see this is most likely going to be a US blank planchet and I'm really excited to find it, never had something like this before. Um, if you guys know anything more about it, uh, which type of planchet it is, and so on, uh, let me know in the comments. I would be really happy to get some more information on this. Row number 26, and if you guys can see it, right over here is wheat sand number 8 of the hunt. So that's pretty nice. 8 wheat sands hunting Canadian rolls, not bad. Let's see if this one is a bit older than the other ones, it's 1945. Pretty decent, still happy to have it. I'm still amazed how many of those you can find in Canadian coinage. Um, and I'm really glad and appreciated, appreciative and grateful to have it, guys. Sorry for my stumbling there with my voice sometimes. Still the same roll, I thought I'm done with the roll, and the second coin to the last is the second King George we find in this hunt, and it is a 1950, as you guys can see there. Beautiful coin, love finding those. Uh, very nice condition, actually. Bit worse than it looks on camera, but very happy about it. Super awesome find, second King George of the hunt. Roll number 27 is going to give us wheat scent number 9, and it's going to be 1955, and it's pretty ugly on the reverse but that's okay still happy to take it awesome find nine wheat cents in the box so far roll number 29 gives us our second centennial bird scent pretty beat up this one as well interesting blue oxidation toning to it and let's continue the hunt and see if we find more awesome stuff Roll number 30 guys and this is exactly the halfway point of the hunt and we are gonna have a couple of more wheat scents here. I think we're at 9 so far. Yep, this is gonna be wheat scent number 10 and you can see wheat scent number 11 right here. So let's look at this one. It's a 56D in pretty decent shape. And uh, we're two coins down see what we have. This is in 1944 and once we're at it we might as well finish hunting this roll on camera. Why not? 
Um, pretty beat up other US cent here, 1970. I have one more candidate for like another wheat cent here. This is also predominantly copper, not much 2000s that I have to get out. This one looked kind of like another wheat cent. But there's nothing else in this row, guys. But two more wheat cents, which brings our total up to 11 at the halfway point of the hunt, which is very amazing. So I'm very, very happy. This is an amazing hunt so far. And let's hope that the second of the, bo of the box doesn't disappoint. All right, guys. This is rolling number 35. So we're a little bit of a dry spell. But as you can see, we have our third centennial cent of the hunt. And definitely the best condition one so far. So happy about this one, guys. Always great to find those. Alright guys, roll number 40. Took us another 10 roll to have the next find, but this is a decent one. I have a other King George here. Pretty beat up condition. It's a 1950, but it's our third King George of the hunt and I'm gladly taking it. Okay guys, roll 44 gives us another King George. An ender this time. It's also in pretty bad condition. Let's flip it over. It's in 1943. Amazing. Four King Georges so far. Very happy with that. Let's see if we can find one more in the last five rows. Still on row 44. A few coins down. We see bird sent number four of this hunt. Of this hunt. So, same one as the King Georges. Pretty nice coin here. Happy to have it. Let's continue the hunt. Still on roll 44. This is a good roll, guys. I'm pretty happy because I just saw a wheat sand in there somewhere. And here it is. And it's a 1945. So we have a wheat sand, King George, and a bird sand all in one roll. Pretty nice. Yeah, guys, the box is definitely heating up towards the end. This is roll number 46, and again, we have a King George Ender, which is the second in a row, and this one is also not in the greatest shape. Let's see over to see the date. It's 1951, so King George number 5 of the hunt. Can't complain about that. And let's see if we can find some more goodies in the last five rolls. Guys, still roll number 46, and here we're gonna have King George number 6. I can already see it there, 1945. Let's look at the reverse to see the George head, and here we go. Awesome. Uh, we're getting there, finding quite a lot of goodies in this box. I'm pretty happy with this hunt so far, but there's still a few rolls left to go, so let's see if we can improve that. Alright, guys, in the roll number 48, we are almost at the end, but the box keeps on giving. As you can see, we have another King George here, 1950. Amazing. King George number, I think it's seven already. Number seven this roll. And I have another one that's sus looking suspicious in this roll, but it's just from the 70s. Okay, guys, let's continue hunting the last two rolls and see if we find any more. All right, guys, roll number 49. Two rolls to go, and the last, second to last roll starts off with a Bird sent Enders, that's the fifth centennial coin we find in this. And then in the end here, just because I have it on camera already, it's another young head, but we found a bunch of them, so they're not so worth it. Let's see if there's anything else. All right, guys, <clears throat> just finished the hunt, 60 rolls of pennies. It was an awesome hunt. I don't at all want to complain. I found lots of awesome things. So let's go through the finds here a little bit. We found a total of 64 young heads. As I told you guys in the beginning, they're pretty common to find. I still like to keep them because I like keeping older coins. I don't. I would keep the copper anyway, so there's not much effort for me to put the young heads in extra rolls. So pretty happy about that. This is quite a lot of young heads for 60 rolls in my experience. A bit more than usual, but it is very common to find them. Um, I found a very low amount of bird sense, in my opinion. Um, I very often find up to 10 in one box. So, interesting that I only found 5 here. Um, <coughs> maybe the star of the box, in my opinion, is this blank planchet, because I never found something like this before. And uh, it's very exciting to see something new. I'm still pretty sure it's an American coin. I will have to figure that out a bit later, do some research. 
Um, probably put it on a scale, figure out some information about it. Maybe if you guys know something, let me know in the comments. Um, would really appreciate any tips and um, any details about this blank planchet. But it's pretty cool. It makes me really happy. It's a great coin. Something you don't find every day. Let's move on to the King Georges. We found seven King Georges in total. Oldest one being 41, which is not surprising because the 30s ones, especially the earlier 30s ones, are super hard to find. And I'm very, very grateful to actually find seven because that's not the norm for me. I usually find a bit less than that in that amount of rolls, so that is great. Um, I usually found a similar amount of Wheat Sands and King Georges, to be precise, which is kind of surprising. You wouldn't expect finding that much older American currency here, but it is definitely the case. I've been finding them in almost every hunt. Uh, 41 is the oldest. We found three 1950s in total, and they're all in not really nice shape. Um, so I'm not so... I'm pretty sure there's not much value in them, but I still enjoy having them a lot, and it's very nice for me to like save this old coinage from actually getting melted down and getting destroyed by the alloy recovery program, so I prefer them being with me than being destroyed. Uh, let's go to the wheat sands. So we found one 1940, we found a 1943D, we found two 44s, two 45s, a 1950S, 1952D, two 1955s, 156D, 157. So the oldest one is 1940, so nothing really old in there. I have found older ones before, but still it has to be said, I found 12 wheat cents in basically a bit more than one box of pennies, and that's a great result. I can't complain. Uh, most American corner hunters average roughly 10 wheat cents per box of pennies in the US, so I think that's a pretty good result for finding it here in Canada. Um, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, uh, I will be uploading more. I apologize for the camera and for the, the settings so far. I'm just experimenting a little bit, but I might as well upload it and make you guys see what I find. But I'm sure I'm going to get a bit more professional in the future. Uh, but if you guys enjoy this content, enjoy talking about Canadian coins, enjoy looking at what I'm finding, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And leave a comment. I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna answer to every single comment, so I'm really, really happy to have this conversation with you guys. And I hope you're gonna tune in to cat roll hunting in the future to see some other awesome coin hunts. Alright, guys, I really appreciate your time and have a good one.